Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Happy holidays. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Ready to get mayhemy with things. We have too big of a crowd that should be collected in one place for a podcast on the internet for it to make sense. But it's the holiday show. This is where we break all the rules and, and the points don't matter. Uh, I got uh, the vodka and Red Bull going with some uh, great Crystal, Crystal Skull stuff um, going on right now. Uh, so yes, this is the year where Vodka Sorg comes out and it starts now to be continued on indie mayhem show with the stds later this evening with me first of all in studio what is yearly his yearly visit i have my i have my range you're jingly on. look at that I have, uh, jingle, riz. Jingle, jingle riz jingle riz riz jingle riz, riz. Jingle riz. the riz is in hi. here hi i'm live sword yes you are i i don't need any like the, nothing's gonna be uh, choppy, or or I'm not gonna be robot mecha mecha Riz. This is the I'm best you sounded all year in the studio. <laughs> You're co- again. This is the best internet connection I've ever had from you. I know, sword. <laughs> Live and in person. Welcome. Welcome, um, and also with us we got we got You're welcome, we got Sorg. everybody on the internet practically at this point, um, and 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 that, which means there's nobody watching live because they're all in here. Uh, so they're they're checking it out in person. First of all, Bobby F J Town, I got a cursor in your face. Sorry about that. We'll oh, move that around. Uh, <laughs> you can't <laughs> cover up this ugliness. There you no. go. Oh. 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 Bobby F J Town from. I, I dressed up for this. I got a haircut today wow. for this. Look I'm at ready. you. Look Whoa. at you. Awesome. And also with us from California, PA, it is Wheels. Hey, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to the Mayhemers, and it feels good to be here. And Riz, stop playing with that papa. He doesn't want you to play with him. Um, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, we got the toys. We got the toys. Every also time. with us. Oh, hey, look, it's Whoa. Papa Lunchbox. <laughs> Who the fuck hey. is that guy? What's up, everybody? I haven't watched wrestling in what feels like years <laughs> yeah yeah so welcome to the year end best of 2016 and you're gonna find out everything that goes on already in, on the gold we were saying a lot of names for the cruiserweight division that you were very confused about <laughs> cruiserweight division there's a cruiserweight division <laughs> yes there is there, oh, that uh, sounds great uh uh lb the cruiserweights have their own show is it called what was it called? Jacked? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Sunday this is going to be so much fun, guys. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. There's more people with us. There's more people with us, and 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 and, and unfortunately, I have more people than I have like slots to put them in. <laughs> so with us, yeah. we squeeze two of them onto the internet over here. His. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look! It's the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. That's right. It's the holiday season, so. Whoop de doo and Hickory <laughs> Dock, and don't forget the guy who wrote that your song. Beer and your pock. Oh, wow. you got the pocky. He got the pocky. You'll see why he has the pocky in a minute, uh, in, in a little bit. Yeah, just yeah, showing it off. Hey, so Matt didn't know about the pocky. This is an old time wrestling mayhem show tradition. Is 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 the pocky? Uh, and and I brought some special back from Thailand. Um, and and I have some other other things too. Show me the other side of that, uh, Matt. That's the Thailand side of it right there. Whoa. Damn. There it is. East Coast. West Coast. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. Like I said, this is a wrestling mayhem show. This is not going to be a normal show. This will probably be a little bit more mayhem than wrestling, uh, but we're going to get into it a little bit. I mean, I know, right, guys? Uh, So uh, you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, Live.WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Check us out at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, on the Facebook on the uh, iTunes and uh, YouTube, uh, everywhere else, at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, and you can drop us a line at Good Times. Good Times. Good Times, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And as well as the phone number, 412-206-WMS0. 
Uh, and also, please uh, support us on Patreon, our good friends that have been subscribing to us. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Look for some new changes uh, come the first of the year. We're going to be switching things around for there. Have some new solid goals for where we want to go with the shows and uh, new ways you can support the show over there. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you, everybody that's been supporting us in 2016 with that. And uh, I hope we've, been, we've entertained you above and above and beyond with the, the things we've been giving you on Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold and such. I have a State of the Mayhem address, but I recorded like last week and I realized I don't think it got out. Uh, so I'm going to try to get that up here uh, very, very shortly for you to hear what's going on there. So, all right. Well, um, so first of all, like I said, it's the end of the year. Matt Carlins, you started something. Oh, boy, yes. you started something on the Internet. Can you explain? Just, just and, question, Sorg. So, so, so first of all, so I figured, you know, we, we kind of try to do kind of a year in review sort of thing. And, um, and, 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 and but I think this question really, really kind of works. So, so Matt, what, what was your, what was your question? My, my question basically was, what well, was interesting because I was sitting around wondering who I, I personally would choose to be the wrestler of the year. And, um, usually like the past, past couple of years, I've had, very strong feelings on this and have argued my point with great conviction on the wrestling mayhem show.com website. But this year I'm like, just drawing a blank. I don't know what the problem is. So I kind of put the question out there and the, uh, the population came forward with all their suggestions and they had some really, um, some really good suggestions, I think. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it is interesting because, um, I, as when you were over, I pulled up the, the, the best, the best of, um, the match of the year candidates from WWE networks collection and it's interesting seeing all the new faces, right? Like it's it's your Sasha's and your Charlotte's and your AJ Styles on WWE. I mean, there's a lot of NXT matches in there. Nakamura is in the running for this kind of thing. Like, who really stuck out? And I think it'd be interesting. Uh, you maybe go over some of the answers in the, in this and and kind of go around and say, um, you know, see who who people thought did the best. Um, I, obviously, I think we'll start with uh, LB. What what do you who do you think was the best wrestler in, in 2016? <laughs> I actually do have an answer for this. Oh, yes. Oh, go ahead. It, it occurs to me now yeah. that I, I wasn't. I I did watch a little bit of wrestling, um, and uh, my answer for wrestler of the year is uh, Johnny Mundo. And the reason for that is because uh, I was watching on the uh, on the the streaming network CISO, Bajillion Dollar Properties, and Bajillion Dollar <laughs> Properties is a show about realtors who sell very expensive properties and. Uh, two of the realtors, one were, were selling, one was an MMA fighter and one was a professional wrestler, and it was Johnny Mundo. <laughs> and they had a great match where they bantered back and forth, him and this this uh, MMA fighter, and it was hilarious. So my pick for Wrestler of the Year 2016 is Johnny Mundo. <laughs> there you go. Wow. wow. I'm, I'm, that, that, that's amazing. I was Good. Good. He's back, he's back in the swing of things already. I love it. I love it. Who else? Who else has a has a thought thought for a wrestler of the year? Riz, you have something. Uh, I post. I said this in the in the. Uh, I was going to explain myself in the uh, when I posted this in the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, but my wrestler of the year, it's going to sound crazy, is Matt Hardy. And well, there was discussion on whether there, we should count it. Right? Why not? Why shouldn't we count this? He is, is. No, no. <laughs> First of all, you guys have watched the final deletion. I or you, you guys I have, haven't. most of you have watched the final deletion. But you have nothing else to say after, you know, after watching TNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, Matt Hardy made you watch TNA. Don't don't force yeah. him on that. No, it made me he, find TNA on YouTube, to be honest. But you're right. But he made but you right. watch TNA related shit. I was watching the uh, 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 part of the final total nonstop deletion as I was waiting for Matt the other morning yeah. uh, for us to do uh, certain projects. Yeah, so, that kind of yeah. got weird at the end there. But um, I didn't get. I got to the itchweed, like the end yeah, of the itchweed. Yeah, yeah. But um, King Maxwell, although if I can do it in a side, King, King Maxwell, not my pick, but in the yeah. running for wrestler of the year. Yeah, uh, but. But to see him go and into indie feds, being the one who people want to see in in wrestling promotions like Progress and and uh, other federations of the like, 
makes me think that is what people want to see. That because he's going to ROH to wrestle the Young Bucks. He's now. been everywhere. He's it. everywhere. He's been everywhere. He's been he's been to certain promotions and they bring the drone. <clears throat> they get, and they do bring the drone and and just that like just that gimmick alone transcends everything you know about professional wrestling. Mm-hmm. Like the like um, these guys won't come here because. Uh, he's going. He's on a. He's on TNA. They can't do anything wrong. They can't. They can't bring him over there. So, no. He's going to, and doing his stuff. He made his gardener <laughs> a property of professional wrestling. That's right, oh, Senior Benjamin. Senior Benjamin. <laughs> That's right. Is right. a ma- is a made man now because of Matt Hardy. I don't know about a made man just he's, because he's involved with he's wrestling. Getting paid. I, I yeah for now. He's getting but, paid I mean... not to do gardening stuff, but <laughs> just that and alone. No, no, his house that drawing like, power so alone makes me think that's what wrestling is now. It's how can you draw yourself? Mm-hmm. How can you do this to better yourself? To better the brand of the Matt Hart. The, to better the Matt Hardy brand, and he is doing it nonstop. Right. Uh, and he no, made me interested in uh, <laughs> Jeff Hardy again too, but not really. Not Wheel, Wheels, what do you have in the running over there? Oh, who do I have? Um, I would say the obvious, but I'm not because I don't like the guy enough. But I'm going to say Sasha. Mm. Actually, mm. I'm going to make it a twofold: Sasha and Charlotte now, are my wrestlers of the year. Okay, okay. Just just because of the series. At this point? Yes. I mean, it, it's been amazing. I mean, even the pay-per-view Sunday was great. I'm like, okay, they say this is the end, but can we have more? <laughs> it's not the end. Well, yeah, so so actually, uh, I'll, let me piggyback off of that one, because I was going to say Charlotte, and I'm going to say Charlotte hands down, more because Charlotte has been consistent this year, right, mm-hmm. as being on top of the champion. Sasha, not not to discount Sasha, but i got to put Charlotte over there for, for carrying the women's division mm-hmm. the way she has she's got great mm-hmm. people to work with but but she has been the consistent and has just um just exceeded expectations by being the biggest bitch ever right and, and, <laughs> and, and i mean absolutely you know, he, he's, he like every correct. time she gets on there like even on like raw talk she's like running down her dad on there and it's just expertly done and you're just like you're a really horrible person and i love it <laughs> Um, and no, no, she is, I, she's, she's every bit, she's getting she's to every, her, she's, she's getting, every woman that her dad was as a man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. There, there you go. Thank Wait, you. I was what? trying to put that around. Uh, but no, Charlotte is, is, and there's so many to pick from, right? That's the thing. We have, we've had so many holy shit matches. We haven't been bored by, by by seeing John Cena, Randy Orton a million times this year in, in in that best of list, you barely see a John Cena or anybody else has been right. Randy mm-hmm. Orton's He's nowhere. Been in a match. Roman Reigns is in one match, and 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 it's all new faces for the most part. Uh, Bobby, what about you? I have two people since I can't narrow it down. One's one's a uh, female, one's a male. I go uh, female first. Oscar. Okay. She's had she's had tons of amazing matches in NXT, undefeated the entire year. Nobody's been able to take her down to the point where they had to bring outside talent in to give her some competition. Great, James, great match you know? with Mickey James, by the way. Great match with Mickey James. Um, and she she talked to me on Twitter. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, the other the other person is my all time favorite wrestler, as you guys know. Had the best two, 2016. He he brought his career back. I'm talking about Chris Jericho. Mm-hmm. Hands down, mm-hmm. had the best. I think one of the best years of his career. Mm-hmm. The whole thing with with AJ Styles at the beginning of the year as a ta- as a tag team turning mm-hmm. on him, just going through with, and the, now he's best friends with Kevin Owens in this <laughs> whole thing. The seven hundred and fifty dollars scarves. The the just the the list of Jericho alone would be enough. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just it, it, it's I, he's he's he is relevant in 2016 again, and it, it's amazing. 
So that's my pick. It's such an amazing way. I, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, Matt, actually, is Jen there? Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You got yeah, somebody. You got somebody oh, else there. Does your Gilbert. does your compatriot get the rest of the I said you first, dear. <laughs> He'll be smoke for me. What? Kevin Owens. Kevin, Kevin Owens. Owens. Yeah. Oh, what? Absolutely. Shocker. I know. Well, I mean, shocker. I mean, shocker. Dean didn't do so, anything. What has Dean done title? this year? He's won the title. Won the world Congratulations. Title? Helped get Ellsworth over. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Let's start with that. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Jen, I Ellsworth. absolutely cannot believe my ears. I know. <laughs> this so is much, incredible. So much has changed in a year. You want to talk about what? What has Dean done but won a title? The one thing that you wanted him to do <laughs> in the world. <laughs> I think that well, was her. It. That was like, wow. okay. It's like the Cubs waiting a hundred years to win the World Series, and they win. And the fans are like, "Now what do we do? You don't do anything? <laughs> you, you start a USC career or something like that? You do whatever you can do to pass the time now." <laughs> well, yeah, it's like been there, done that. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I just had this random thought related to LB. I'm try, sitting here trying to figure out how do we even begin to explain James Ellsworth? Yeah. <laughs> how do we even begin to explain how that whole thing happened? Let me ask you a question about James Ellsworth because I, the Mayhem Show account sent me a video <laughs> of um, James Ellsworth talking to Mick Foley and then talking to Braun Strowman. And they said, you need to watch this. And I watched it like twice trying to figure out why the fuck I needed to watch it. <laughs> None of it. Wh why? I don't understand what happened. Apparently, apparently context was lost on the delivery, I think. Like, yeah. like it was great at the moment, but maybe it doesn't translate when it's like, just watch this one thing. It'll bring it back to wrestling. And you're like, no, it doesn't make sense. I knew, I knew one and a half people in that. <laughs> video. Maybe maybe we were drinking that night. Who knows? I, I I don't know. We're just hoping something catches you and brings you back to wrestling. So, um, but James Ellsworth, really? I would have sent him the uh, Kevin Owens Jericho uh, backstage segment with uh, Todd Phillips. Tom Phillips. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I was, I was that LB, nothing but Talking Smack clips to get him. Yeah, back to the Miz promo from Talking Smack. That's right. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the Miz hey, promo? Hey. Miz is relevant again, Lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't believe us. No, I don't. I don't no, I'm sorry. I'm a man who doesn't believe us. <laughs> there's nope. a point. More LB. Lies? LB. I know he's got Maurice around. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> LB, there's a point where Miz got like really real and called out Daniel Bryan live on the air for not wrestling. If he really wanted to be a wrestler, he would just quit and go to the indies. Mm -hmm. I did know about that. I read an article about it on Deadspin. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, um, let's go around. It's time for the predictions. Okay. What? Yeah. Matt, Matt, did you? Yeah, you, well, you had your thought, so I think it threw oh, me off. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got, I got sidetracked. James Ellsworth is not my wrestler of the year. I want to be clear about that. <laughs> oh, so let me why? give you guys a little bit. Oh, come on. Uh, I, I did a little bit of research. Just kind of looking at like match ratings and things like that. Oh, I, thought you, I thought you were pulling like, up. So I was trying board, to figure yeah. out like who had like a great year in the ring, and like a few of these names came up on our uh, Facebook group on our thread right. also. Roman um, Reigns, you know the, the typical batch of you know guys over in New Japan: Kenny Omega, mm -hmm. Okada. Of course, they're both awesome. Uh, but there was another name on here that that had a lot of great matches this year, and he did not come up one time in the Facebook thread. I haven't heard anybody mention him on Twitter either. But Will Ospreay. Is the way that people like just freak out over, and I'll admit that like I'm not all the way on board yet. Um, I think there's like a British disconnect with my wrestling fandom, but Absolutely. says the Wade Barrett fan. <laughs> says the Wade Barrett. Fan. <laughs> He's not like Wade. I just don't get it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I think if I had to pick someone to be my wrestlers wrestlers of the year, there I tipped my hand. I think I'd pick the Young Bucks mm -hmm. because I love that they have basically taking control of their own destiny. They, they just re-signed like a, a, a contract extension with, with Ring of Honor in New Japan. They're basically making themselves popular and known around the world without any help from WWE. Mm -hmm. They're doing it all by themselves. And everybody wants to work with them. The Hardys want to work with them. Everybody in, everybody, the New Day wants to work with the, you know, the, the Young Bucks and, and Kenny. Right. And so. 
Right. The Bucks have made themselves a thing without anybody's help except their own. So I respect that. All right. Sounds good. Um, L- LB, did you learn anything from this conversation about the wrestling you've been missing this year? Um, yeah, I did, and I just forgot what it was. <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Matt, what did you just say the, about the Young Bucks? Who wants to work with them? Just about everybody. I mean, the, the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega kind of like... No, you mentioned they, a specific tag team. The New Day? Uh, the New Day. And... Uh, the Hardys? That's it. The Hardys okay. are still alive. Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah. it is. Not only wrestling, still alive. <laughs> still alive, yeah. This was the entire thing last year, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year was, this guy's still alive? <laughs> all right uh well let's get into predictions for uh, uh 2016 uh well, i'm sorry 2017 but first is the prediction shaming oh, no. all right wow. and our predictions so so the way we i think we started this last year our predictions were uh prediction for wrestling and predictions for wrestling mayhem show as a whole and the last year and i'm going to pull up the handy dan spreadsheet thanks to producer missy that had uh, had the foresight to write down our predictions so I didn't have to listen to the Christmas episodes and write them down myself the day of the next Christmas episode, as <laughs> has happened the last five years. Uh, okay, so first of all, I think, do, do we do, do, do we just go down and then we go back through for our predictions, or? Yes, yes. yes. Matt Carlins, <laughs> you're on the hot seat. My predictions? They're terrible, I'm sure. Donald Trump will appear on Raw. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. You know what, I got to wow. admit, I thought he would have dropped out of the race sometime during the year. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 like, I figured like, he would drop out of the race and then he would come on the row. You misspelled White House. You spelled it R A W. Also, you said that Eamon will no longer be allowed to appear on WMS because he will be hired away to a big promotion. Wow. 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 He just, well, he's not here, is he? He's not here. I, he's not. Yeah. I didn't invite him, but I didn't see that he was coming on, so I don't know what's up there. Uh, I don't know. He's He's got something going on. He moved to a different city. Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> so. Definitely. His star is on the rise, Sorg, as we all know. Uh, and we can oh, say we knew him when. He was just a wrestle fetus, so it's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shad the Shad was apparently here, or he phoned the center. I, I can't recall. No, he was here. He was live. Was he here? Sorg will have network access in uh, 2016. I don't know what that means. Well, that, you, do you have the WWE network? I have the WWE network. There, or there you go. One. Network, we'll access. network access. Network <laughs> access yeah. in 2016. Access to, like, what? The network. Uh, okay. The, network. the roster is the... Oh, okay. That was the Mayhem one. So I'm going to have... What the hell? Uh, the roster is <laughs> going to be... Is it going to go into off-season scheduling to deal with injury cycles? Nope, that nope. didn't happen. In fact, it's worse because we have two different promotions <laughs> and, like, four different shows and all this other stuff going on. So, yeah. Uh, Riz! Hi. Riz! Hi. WMS and IMS Indie Mayhem Show will gain an hour to three hours. That I don't, is very close. I don't know. We kind of... That can, is very very close. We kind of contracted. <laughs> we kind of contracted the Indie Mayhem show, actually. So I don't know if that worked out for you. Um, and also, you said that the uh, Great Khali will be in the Hall of Fame. Time. Isn't that your prediction every year? That's every year. Every year. Well, you're going to get it right sooner or later, right? Every year. I feel bad for you. Doc Remedy was in the <laughs> house, and he says that Sorg is going to choke the life out of Riz for extra programming comment. <laughs> He's holding a fist up. Um, and also, WrestleMania Hall of Fame Warrior Award will be Caitlyn Jenner. No, it was... Nope. Um, who yeah. was it? Who was it this year? Uh, Susan G. Oh, it was uh, Susan- Joan London. Oh, Joan, Joan London. Joan London. Joan okay. Yeah. All right. Antonio Garza. Is that, Will? <laughs> Antonio Garza says that no, the TNA... I think TNA- I do remember that, actually. TNA will announce a new network. I, I think moving to a new network. But they- they've stuck around yeah. on Pop since, Poppy. I think. Um, Mad Mike and Garza fall out during midweek war because of the TNA and Roder- Roderick Strong. Well, Roderick Strong's on NXT, That's but Garza's not on the midweek war He's anymore. Not. No. So, I don't know. That's a point. Is that a point? It's a point. That's it. Yep. Half a no. point. No, that's a point. Half a point. No, that's there a point. I, I say it's a point. Mad Mike. Hi, Mad Mike. 
So is that Eamon, Eamon and Mike will be in person at the same show at the same time. That did nope. not happen. Although nope. Texas nope. is in my future, I'm telling you. At least Florida is in my future. Hmm. So if anybody wants to come into Florida and meet me. Mad Mike also says main roster you talent. <clears throat> main roster talent will win NXT championship. Uh, mm, no, that no, didn't happen. That didn't that happen. Didn't happen. So, so somebody coming back down and winning. Uh, probably because we're talking about Zack Ryder and the bro. The yeah. I was calling the bromance. That's the, close. The, the vodka is starting to kick in. Okay. I still have my shirt too, sir. You still have your shirt? What? 4XL Mojo Raleigh. 4XL, 4XL Mojo Raleigh from last year? Oh, I forgot I did that. All right. Bobby F. J. Town. Where are you at? There you are. Bobby. Bobby. Former Sweet. WWE wrestler will be a guest on Wrestling Mayhem Show or Indie Mayhem Show. Nope. Did, well, did we? I, uh, maybe. Who are, what was our guest Ooh. list this year? So I, Booker T. had backstage we interviews. We had Booker right. T. Yeah, and Scott Hall. Hall. And it's Scott Hall. Yeah. So, Bobby Point. <laughs> Booker T, Scott Hall, there was somebody else too, wasn't there? We had Deanna Perrazzo. That we, counts. We had, uh, uh, has Les Thatcher been in WWE? Was Did I have Zach? Zach, we had da- Zach, PJZ. Do I get as many points on as wrestlers we had on? No. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, bit. Keep but, racking uh, up those points. <laughs> so we have? How about, how about people that definitely worked uh, uh, extra talent in WWE? Like Brett Baker? Jericho, well, Jericho wasn't on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm doing a quick scan. I'm doing a quick scan. Kevin Thorne. Hey, Britt Brit Baker was on Raw. There you go. Kevin Thorne. Yeah, yeah. Britt Baker was on Raw. So, <laughs> so it kind of counts, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm going down the list now. Pentagon Jr., that doesn't really count. Um, Hold on. Going down Phil. the list. It originally was on Phil. ROH. Phil. 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 Delilah Doom, who was also on Raw. Phil. Yeah, yeah, she was she on Raw. She signed with Raw, didn't, or she signed with WWE, didn't she? Delilah Doom? You're thinking uh, Kimberly. Right. Kimberly. Kimberly. There is, uh, oh, I think, and I think, oh, Jimmy Corderas. Yeah. yeah. Was on this Maybe year. Not. Shane Taylor, who's now on Ring of Honor. I mm-hmm. think he was starting on Ring of Honor when we first talked to him, too. Uh, so, yeah. Bobby. Point. Point, Bobby. Yeah, point. Woo-hoo! Super no, point. No, my other one won't have a point, I don't think. Super don't point. What was your other one? It was Cesaro will win money in the bank and cash in for uh, the championship. Uh, no, but Cesaro had a great year. Yeah, he did. He did. I, I, I posted. Uh, Matt, I don't know if you saw. I posted the conversation we had with him at uh, the Arnold, where his arm is in a sling and he's sad about missing WrestleMania. Yeah. Oh, and he was great. so coy about when he was returning. Mm-hmm. And he was back like a week after Mania, right? Right. Popped right back. Oh, so. Right. Yep. Uh, Eamon says that one of the former WMS guests will return to the show permanently. Hmm. Like, have we acquired any Bobby? new? I don't think we've acquired new Mayhemers. In the in the time that we've uh, regular no. Mayhemers or anything. I've been trying to, but Cars? somebody... Cars is, is this like no he he was on before this year, I think and not, it was not regular. So wasn't somebody somebody was on as a as a co-host that we made him a co-host this year was it Larusso? Yeah, it was, it was probably Larusso. So that counts. Yeah, that counts. Amen. Amen. Point. Amen. Point. Amen gets a point. Good job, Amen. Are you keeping score over there? No. Oh no. no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, wheels. Wheels, wheels, oh, wheels, wheels, was, wheels. What was Eamon's WWE? What's that? Thing. You just said the was yeah, was Eamon's WWE one. Uh, oh, NXT will be the TV pro- will have TV programming outside of WWE Network. Nope. Not really a uh, thing. Nope. Sad. Wheels. Wheels. Wheels, wheels, <laughs> wheels. Third co-host on Indie Mayhem Show. No, again, nope. we kind of contracted. <laughs> so, there's kind of no co-host on Indie Mayhem Show right now. Um... <laughs> John Cena will continue not winning gold in 2016. Yeah. Hey, that's a point. point. That's a point. Point, that's point, a point, 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 point. All right, let's go to Jen Carlins. Where's she at? Where's she at? She over there? I am here. Hold on, I'm looking for the button. That's me. I Trying to fix it. Trying to fix it. There you are. There you are. <laughs> All right, you said that the Shield will reunite. Kind of. Point. point. Oh, they did. They did. That they counts. Did. That counts. That counts. You get that. No, they all did. They all did. I remember yep. that. Survivor Series. Yep. Total Divas wrap-up will return. Did you do any of this they year? They did. 
Mm, you did. Did I? That's two. Did you? I think you did. This year? Yeah, we did. That's two points. Oh. Two points! Dan Carnes! <laughs> two points, Gryffindor. I predicted that we will reach 550 episodes, which we did last week. Which we did. Points! <laughs> <laughs> that was like a softball the- right there, <laughs> but go ahead. Right in there. close, Sorg. We were close. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, right? You're um, welcome, Sorg. I'm, I'm glad I didn't say that Indie Mayhem show was going to make the 150. <laughs> An IWC talent will be signed to NXT. Yes. Uh, wait. Who? Wait. Who? Who? Johnny Gargano counts. Yeah, Gargano Point. counts. Gargano Point. counts. Point. Yeah. Point. Point. Two yeah. points to Gryffindor. For the show, Johnny Gargano. Was Shula was already there. Shula yeah. was already in, been there, like from the year before, because he got signed. Officially, right, yeah. officially, he left in January. We had him in December of 2015. Mm-hmm. Left in 2016. So yeah, or maybe it was a year before that. Actually, I no, I think it I was feel like he was there a while before he actually started getting something. So, okay, that is that wraps up our predictions from last year. Looking Wait, what were my predictions? Cat predictions. I'll be. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did, I skipped you. No, no, wait. I couldn't. I couldn't remember. You. We skipped yours. So we skipped yours. This is me. This is me. Okay. LB. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. WWE is going to lose somebody big, as in John Cena big. I don't mm. think that happened. Nope. Mm-hmm. I don't think that happened at oh, all. Alberto Del, Del, Rio. Del Rio. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the point. Oh, Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett, Wade Barrett Del Rio. Del Rio. Come on, Paige. Uh, <laughs> to be <laughs> love. I don't think Paige counts. John Cena. John Cena is just hanging out. He's not fired. He's John Cena is just doing Night? his thing. He's still he hosting Saturday Night, Night Live. Hosting Saturday Night Live, other shows, stuff like that. SBs. Uh LB, you also said we are going to have another spinoff from Wrestling Mayhem Show. Two hundred five live. No, 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 from Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> Show. <laughs> yeah, because we own that show, Riz. What? <laughs> like there's gonna be a like indie mayhem show midweek war. We were gonna do another spinoff. Well, we have mm-hmm. two hundred five. Yeah, two hundred five. We, we do. <laughs> Wait, you're counting. So you're saying the midweek war for two hundred five <laughs> yes. live is? Oh yeah, <laughs> that is a point. LB that is a new show. LB point. The new show. Yeah. Well, what? What? The guy who hasn't been here all year just got both. Points. Yeah, the guy who yeah. hasn't been here all year just got both points. On mostly technicalities. Why not? Mostly technicalities. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't count Alberto Del Rio as John Cena. Big. It depends. In, in Matt's world, yes. In H. Matt's world, definitely yes. Um, if you match him up with Wade Barrett and Paige, does Dan O'Brien count? Oh, Bobby, we lost him a long time ago. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He retired last year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he retired yeah. last year, and we got him back this year. Guys. Yeah, what? we did. Brie Bella? No. 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 Brie retired. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't, doesn't count. count. But it's still on Total Divas. <laughs> yeah. No, they still got her. They still got her. All right, guys. Let's go look at 2017. What is your wrestling and your wrestling mayhem show network, I guess, prediction? Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's all right. We got, we got time. We got time. Do a slice yeah, ad. We haven't talked uh, about Slice on Broadway. Check them out. Sliceonbroadway.com. The oh. supporting Pittsburgh oh, podcasting with the, the perfect pepperoni pizza. Riz is going to take down the set with that box of pizza, and it's going to get yeah. ugly in a moment. Check them out. Slice on Broadway. PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter and Slice on Broadway on the nice. Facebook. What are you doing? Give me a pizza sword. You're getting me pizza? I'm getting a pizza for myself. You're getting a pizza. Would you like a pizza? I, I the, the whole pizza, yes, absolutely. What like is happening? Pizza? Look at that pizza. Would you like a pizza? There you go. I can't get up. Right has now. got the pizza. That's fine. That's fine. Check them out. Sliceonbroadway dot com. Who's got their prediction for twenty seventeen? Anybody? You have a prediction, right? Do I? Yeah, you got you got a great prediction. Oh, I do have I do have a prediction. It's amazing. Oh. Uh, you ready? Go ahead. Tell them. You tell them. No, I have my own prediction. You got, uh, you got this one. This is all you. It's one How are you going on this one? Somebody, somebody's going to WrestleMania. 
No, no, no. That's not wow. Bad. What? <laughs> wow. Yeah, if they win the Royal Rumble. <laughs> no! That's what you mean. No, I'm sorry. I meant that uh, Braun Strowman's going to win the Royal Rumble. Oh, God. Help us all. No. Oh, and the Shield will reunite again. <laughs> what? Use that last year. I can Why use not? it again. How about the For the Mayhem show? Yeah, what's your Mayhem show one? It'll still be going strong. <laughs> wow. That's a bold prediction. Oh, she's going for easy points. <laughs> that is a bold prediction right there. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Who else? Who else has a uh, who has, has a Matt? Since we're we're on there with you, do you have anything lined up? Uh, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll give a. I, I'll, I'll have a mayhem show prediction for sure. Um, <clears throat> in the year 2017, uh, the mayhem show will add a new sponsor in addition to Slice on Broadway. There will be a new sponsor in addition. The slice on Broadway because those ratings are so hot. They got to get a piece of that action. So that, that'll be a thing. Who? Who? But who? 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 Um, <clears throat> geez, a wrestling prediction. All right. I got a wrestling prediction for you. Matt Hardy will leave TNA in 2007. Whoa. Matt wow. Hardy will leave TNA. And not just show up on Ring of Honor, but actually leave TNA, you're saying. He will physically cease to be a TNA superstar. Mm. He will be obsolete. <laughs> He'll cross over. I you know what? I'm going to go chanting, off that. They're chanting delete at the WWE pay-per-view. I heard True. that. Oh, wait, wait, did I hear delete? Yeah, yeah. yeah that happened. Oh, yeah, you did. That happened. That absolutely happened. Uh, I think, I wanna, I'm going to go off of that. I think Matt Hardy, I think the Hardys, doing what they're doing on the, at the Hardy Compound, I think they're going to be offered their own show outside of TNA. <laughs> I think they're just going to produce their own wrestling show at the Hardy Compound, like like semi regularly. It could be it could be an internet show. Like I feel like based on that, they just left and said we're going to do this because how good is that production, right? I mean, it's it's all right, it's all right, but still, I think I feel like they could do it themselves. There's higher production team and do it right. Mm-hmm. To some extent, and people will watch it. It could become the five dollar wrestling of, of whatever it is, whatever you call that. Um, and it's proven, right? Mm-hmm. It's got people's attention, and they could kind of capitalize on it. Uh, wrestling mayhem show prediction. Uh, I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one at all. What did I? I feel I feel I feel like I got a little bit of the inside track here. So yeah, I did do an easy one last year. Um, Wrestling Mayhem show will not emanate from this basement. What? By the what? end of 2017. What? It's gonna be at the Hardy Compound. <laughs> <laughs> There's your internet show, everybody. You know what? If we got Another offered, sword. I knew you'd come. <laughs> Oh, Wrestling Mayhem show is about to be deleted. Oh All no! Right. If we if we don't ever lose the file. Fade away and don't lose the, the file. file. We need to upload it so people can listen. If Wrestling <laughs> Mayhem show, if Wrestling Mayhem show ever does have to stop, we will have a Wrestling Mayhem show apocalypse. That's not a prediction. I'm just saying, just in general. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby F J Town. Yes, I um, knew you'd come. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Do you have any predictions ready? Um, I do. Um, I think the Mayhem Show Super Feed will get new shows for my Mayhem Show prediction. Okay. All right. All right. I have kind of an inside track on that one, Sorg. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Um, and my wrestling prediction. I think Asuka is going to be a women's champion on the main roster next year. Ooh. Undefeated women's okay. champion. Okay. Okay. All right. I like it. That's my like prediction. It. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Riz? Uh, for the WWE prediction, uh, 
neither Daniel Bryan or Mick Foley will last the year. Oh, no. Do you know something we don't? <laughs> uh, I, I think I, I like both those guys. I, I think they're, they're they were they're great for their position, but I think they might have something else planned for them. Uh, as for WWE, as for the WMS, uh, I predict that <clears throat> you'll see more of these shirts of of the Mayhem Show lore somewhere around let's say an indie promotion near you i mean sorg we went to so many different places with this stuff yeah what's to say we can't do more are you saying wait 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 wait. aiw he's oh Oh. are you saying are you saying the wrestling mayhem show should do an indie tour yes we should i'm game See, I, see, Sorg. Okay. We're, we're all right. Yeah. All right. I can see that. Now, Sorg, I can't. I can't. I. I don't know what you're doing. It looks like you're just flicking me off because you don't like that idea. No. 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 Oh. Oh. oh I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Wrong finger. I, I. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. But um. <laughs> Like I'm like what 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 what's going on? I like, you, you I, I like the yeah. idea. I, I like I like I like I like the idea. Let's 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 see what we can do with yeah. that. So more, I don't know if that's a prediction. Brian might die. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no, I did not. You said no longer with us. No, he will be no longer the what is he? The general um, manager? With the the WWE commissioner? universe. Yeah, <laughs> that still doesn't work. Uh, Wheels. What's up? What are your predictions uh, for everything? All right. And there's a question I'm that's come up good. from our producer if you're contractually obligated to give a prediction about the RWA. No, no, that's, that's not what? what? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, for the world tour, are you obligated to the RWA? <laughs> um, as long as it's not on a like game show, I could do it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, Wheels, what, what are your predictions? All right, predictions. I'm going to go with the biggest thing ever. I'm going to go the opposite of this year. John Cena will hit his 16th time world title win. Woo. Mm. All right. All right. What about Mayhem? And then, Mayhem, I'm going to predict a guy who is sexy, who's loved by millions or at least thousands, in a wheelchair, will make his on-screen debut on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Wait, what? What? Hmm. Are you... Yeah. Oh, wait. Yes, I said it. I will be on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Not Lie. maybe where Riz is saying, but nearby. I'm going to be now. sitting on Riz's lap. <laughs> Yeah, that there's, there's pizza on my lap already, so you can't. Oh, that's can't a take that great reason to be on your lap. Okay, all right, all right. LB, LB, extra sausage. Yeah, my. from your your knowledge of wrestling for the year. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <clears throat> what are your so, predictions? Um, so my prediction for the WWE is that 2017 will be the year that they hand it over to the kids that uh, Vince and Linda completely walk away from the company because they will be busy with more political pursuits. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I'm not thrilled about it, but sure. (laughs) Um, And I think in 2017, uh, for the Mayhem show, at some point, Sorg is going to get a wild hair up his ass. (laughs) <laughs> he is going to completely revamp the Mayhem show, Whoa. change the format T to B, top to bottom, and at the end of 2017, it will be the Mayhem show 2.0. Wait, 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 wait. I think we're on like version 5.0. 5.0. Mayhem show 5.0. I mean, oh, I've, I mean, how many times have we converted this format? <laughs> so over ten years of doing this, eleven years. Holy crap! 
<laughs> I'm adding digits on. <laughs> 11 years of doing this. <laughs> oh, shit. It'll be Mayhem Show 10 developers build. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! You gotta do creative edition. Creative edition, right? Yeah, <laughs> for tablets. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I should have had you on Awesome Cast earlier too. Um, I forgot Apple that you were on awesome. Apple Watch edition. <laughs> oh, it's so tiny. I just can't tell anybody apart. Um, <laughs> did we get everybody? Is that it? I think we got everybody. All right. Now is the time of the yearly show. Uh-oh. Where uh, we had a secret mayhem. Riz is is the guy that organizes this. So thank you, Riz, once again. Yeah, Riz. For You're organizing welcome. the secret mayhemer. Right? You uh, caught me in the middle <laughs> caught you mid-pizza. But generally, um, so 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 he, he sets us up through some, self, some site called <gasps> Elster that sends me emails all fucking year. Um, but, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. but in the meantime, uh, we have a great time here around Christmas. I think most of us have received our gifts. There's some that are going to be that haven't yet that, that weren't able to be here. Uh, so I'm going to encourage those um, that have not received their gift to please uh, maybe video the gift opening or something like that, so we can share it on our social media. So stay tuned on the Facebook page and and at Mayhem Show on Twitter uh, for that. So who has uh, their stuff in hand and wants to go? There we go. Oh, what? what? Oh, what's what? going on? Oh, oh. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gotta give you a video. Everybody say, What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the, what's in the fucking box? Let's uh, kick him off a little bit here. So oh, nice view of the and this is the one for Jen Carlin's? Yes, you got a wonderful wrapping of a, a an Amazon Prime box. <laughs> Nothing but class. You, you can, can we go? Can yeah, open yeah, it. you can go now. My gift is from Missy. Mm-hmm. 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 Not supposed to be secret. Nope. No, you can <laughs> say now. Uh, you can announce oh. it now. Oh. All right. Oh, oh, time to get your balor on. Whoa. <laughs> oh. So wow. what is it? For- what this- is it? Describe, show it's it. It's an Amazon Prime box. Describe it for their audio listeners. It is the Shield Tactical Training Center. <laughs> what? It's Legos. It's Legos. It's, it's not Legos. <clears throat> Does it include all three of the Shield? <laughs> um. Yep. Wow. Yes. Yep. Rowan Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins. Yes. Wow. Is Roman Reigns the one pumping iron now? Of course. No, Roman yes. looks strong, man. Roman's figure never breaks. She will <laughs> <laughs> He's pumping iron down here. Uh, Missy, Missy sends a message that you will always have the shield now. Mm-hmm. Oh, I will. I'm going to put this on my nightstand. I have <laughs> I have a, I have a uh, Lego style Oh. Uh, uh, What's his name? Uh, Sandow? Damien Sandow. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Thank you, you Missy. Go. All right. Awesome. All right. Who wants to go next? Who has their gift? Who has their gift? LB, you got yours, right? I'll go. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I've got this lovely box. All right. All right. <laughs> it's a box. Lovely Amazon. It's a box. <laughs> Another Amazon Prime box. Amazon gets a lot of business out of this. I need to know. So. Who is LB's uh, Secret Santa? No one? All right. Um, <laughs> you know what? It was Let a me ghost. Because I do have... Hot <laughs> damn. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Where's he going? He's taking his headphones off. Wait, wait, he just disappeared. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, it is a oh, you can't see me hat. Look at that thing. He is now John Cena. Can you can you guys make out what it is? I can't or see can it. You not I can see I cannot see it. I cannot see who, I can't even see you now. Will you need to wear that every time I meet you? 
Will, you have to wear, wear that every time I meet you for lunch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep it in my car for yeah. just such an occasion. Dude, you, know, you, know, you know, first I looked at it in the color scheme. I'm like, why does he have a Green Bay Packers hat? <laughs> You're Miami. That's amazing. That needs to be your profile pic on the Mayhem board. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mystery person. I will look didn't, this up for you. Lunch was? Uh, I don't think see. so. Let me look if there's a secret message. I'm on it. Let's see. Or a ransom note. And all that, ban- uh, all that, all that bubble wrap. Oh, oh, oh Alex Cars. Oh, hey! Alex Cars. Hey! Hey! Buy one of his shirts. Thank you, Alex. It's just written in magazine font. You can't see me. <laughs> Clipped out magazine letters. All right. So we have we have Vinny Mayhem show after this, and I just got a message from Chess Flexor. I hope you're thirsty. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh, he's going to come in your mouth. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Is, this, is this still that kind of show? Sure. Is still that kind of show? <laughs> That All right, is it my turn? Point, <laughs> I just heard a cop car. You just heard a cop car? Uh, is Flexor here? <laughs> There's a cop car in the neighborhood, so so is Flexor. Um, <laughs> all right, um, I'll, I'll go next. I'll go next. So... Oh, good. Wow. What? That is a lot of stuff, Sword. Yeah, so uh, I believe Jen had me, right? That is me. Wow. You, which, who had me last year. And I and, did. and so, and it, it, yeah. I'm still using the Ninja Turtles wallet, by the way. There's like three. There's like three things here. So we'll go. Small. We we we, uh, we adhere to the rules of the of the Secret Santa, so don't don't worry. Well, you know the way it worked out, though. If you bought something, something else was forty percent off. So luckily, Mason loves wrestling, so <laughs> everybody wins. There, the, the, there you go. Yep. All right, small just thing means first. You never pay full price on your sword, so don't worry. Nope. Oh, good. Oh, good. We got ooh, a uh, <laughs> LB. You're going to be jealous because there's a John Cena watch happening John here. Cena, the flamethrower. Uh, looks like looks like my <laughs> pebble. <laughs> looks like my pebble's getting thrown away. <laughs> and I think the time, no, that would be if you got a rock watch. Although I already have to fix the time. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're going to go to the next one. The very John Cena Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> It Sorry, is. I need you to oh wear that watch my. to all the indie shows that you work and <laughs> use it all the time. I do. Yeah, I wear, it, lights, it lights up. I yeah. wear. I wear. Does it light up? Yeah. Flashing yeah. light sports strap LCD watch. Yes, this is happening. <laughs> you can set happening. the alarm and it goes. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. So I also got a Pez set with uh, the Rock, John Cena, and the Undertaker. Play. Nice. Nice. I'll go right beside my uh, Star Trek set. Yes, I have a Star Trek Pez set. All right. Last one. This is a long one. Yeah. All right. Well, Intercon- nice. classic Intercontinental nice. Championship. You got to find little WWE <clears throat> stickers to put on that now. There you go. Awesome. What's that? <laughs> The, the it, matches it, it, it does match Chachi's. It does match Chachi. Chachi has, Chachi has the the, uh, uh, what the his uh, fiance got him that. It's like a uh, wasn't it like an, an engagement, engagement present? Yes, it's an it is an engagement belt. belt. Yes. So uh, hold on a second. Hold on. All right, all right, I'll work on this. Who needs to go next? And uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to work on something here. You have an email for, with pictures of mine because they're upstairs. I have an email. Missy Missy had hers. I thought it was a box of. Um, of uh, of cords that I ordered, <laughs> so <laughs> so I surprise op- it wasn't. I opened it and it didn't say who it was from, but it was a, it was a, a package of Hershey Nuggets and a Loch Ness monster uh, ladle set. Was that it? It was not wrestling related. It was no. not wrestling related, but still, it was very nice. But I was super happy about the Nessie. Missy was very very happy about the Nessie ladles. That that Those that were included. So so I'm, that was. I'm very glad. I'm glad she liked the uh, the chocolate. Oh, oh, nice. 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 Uh, no, apparently uh, my has not arrived yet. Oh no! But I will 
Play with Jen's story to make me <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, he's already. Oh, oh he's opening it up. I got. He's he's opening up. There's some constructions uh, uh, required. Anybody else have anything lined up here? No, nope, that's it. Wait, wait, wait. Alex Carter's what? got his today from me. Yeah. Could I say what I got him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh uh, uh, sure. What'd you get him? Um, I I got him a Funko Pop, of course. Of course. Uh, <laughs> of course, I, it was you Rick did. Uh, I got him a uh, WWE Elite figure. It was uh, Rick Rude. Um, I'll say oh, two sets of pins. So there's the, the pins that I got, the same ones I got Mike last year. Mm-hmm. And I found a Chikara DVD online. It was autographed by Claudio, Ooh. a.k.a. Cesaro. So that was what I got him. Very nice. Yeah. How much was that? Yeah. Oh, Yo, don't ask that. I, I don't, don't, I don't ask that question, but that is awesome. I, I was, like, shocked that I found it. I... <laughs> I you know you don't understand how much I searched for Chicago stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like, it was unbelievable how hard it was to find stuff. I found it. So on top of that, I I, again, I was a little sad that 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 there weren't as many people that came in, but I I brought something back and I specifically grabbed these. Um, um, we we have some package opening in the background. Just a heads up. Yeah, I hear, <laughs> I hear packaging. Oh, sorry. Um, Funko, but Funko, there, Funko. where did I put those? Oh, there they are. Um, <laughs> don't hit, don't hit Hawkster over there. So I was in Thailand. I was in Thailand, and uh, I, you know, uh, and we showed at the beginning of of the show uh, the Pocky from Thailand. Uh, I was really amazed by the variety, and again, everything like a one size in Thai. So, so, and, and Pocky is a long standing thing here on the show. I've I've I have not dug into any of these. I think I got the green the green tea one to eat for myself while I was in Thailand. But yeah, so so pocky, green tea, chocolatey candy kind of pocky, which uh, which we've had the I, I don't know are the Kit Kats around here? The green, what, the, the green tea Kit Kats? No, no, yes. I, they yeah, are they, they are around somewhere, but they're they are prominent in Asia. So uh, Riz, Riz, I want you to taste test one of these. Oh. There you go. Uh, also, <laughs> there's one. I think you just hit him in the head with it. No, you're almond, fine. Almond, almond taste. taste. It's called almond taste. Almond, almond taste. taste. By the way, Boy, are those uh, the ones that are chocolate sword. with like chunks of almond on it. I, I think so. I think so a little oh, bit. Those what's are up? Uh, great. Did you not? Oak. Did you not <laughs> see what's on the box here? What's on the box? Uh, it says matcha. 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 Actually, also, I think it's matcha. Here's some cookies and cream pocky. Rusev Pocky. Cookies of cream. There's one with a little uh, 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 yeah, monkey. Oh, it's a uh, Choco Banana. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, then I found Premium Pocky. <laughs> Riz, <laughs> Riz is premium so loud. Pocky. That is so loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, premium Pocky. There's a Strawberry Taste Pocky. That's made out of cherry. And look at look the foil stance box. Look at that. That's reason. amazing. And also Blueberry Taste. Hmm. Why does so, it say strawberry what? Taste? I don't know why it says taste. Does that say like like with, is, is it indicating flavor? this is flavored and not? Maybe it just says is it's like they have to indicate this is not actually strawberry and blueberry, right? So so a little something to show off there. Something uh, from Thailand. It's got Thai on the box. Uh, so we're, uh, Riz is going to be checking those out. Riz, did you have one of the green tea ones yet? I just did. All right. What do you think of the green tea pocky? It tastes like green tea. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him what he's won, John. Honestly, <laughs> this is the first. Serious, seriously, this is the first time I've tasted pocky. What? Pocky? Never have I tasted oh, pocky. Oh, jeez, dude, you got to get your fiber by balsa wood. What? What? <laughs> it has like the feel of balsa wood when you're eating. It does. I've never eaten no, balsa you're, wood, you're, but you're kinda, I assume it would taste like pocky. You really should. <laughs> you should. It, 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 it strengthens up your jawline and everything. Well, like it's life experience. Better than you think. Life experience. Well, it, it, it like is a lighter wood. <laughs> it's, it's got a lighter woody taste. Yes, it does. Whoa. Now, he's mind. not wrong. <laughs> it, it does taste a little like... I know, I know what you're saying, though. 
Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, well, let's try another one. Uh, Riz. Uh, Has cookies, yeah, try the cookies and cream. Throw this at me. Rip. Cookies and cream. <laughs> cookies oh. and cream. All right, work on that. Work okay. on that. Let's we'll move on, on to this on next we'll segment, work. guys. It's towards the end of the show. Stop throwing Stop chocolate throwing at him. Stop throwing at me. You're not good at throwing chocolate at him. <laughs> Stop throwing things at me, Missy. I'm not good at throwing chocolate. <laughs> just bounce, I just see something bounce off of something over there, and if it's Missy throwing chocolate at our guests. He did it to Doug Durda of Should I Drink That Dot Com earlier today. Yeah. All right. He's having <laughs> trouble with the package. Is that double wrapping? That's a problem. Yes. Oh, yeah, sorry. He's going to try it. Here he is. Okay. He's digging into the package, ladies and gentlemen. He's taking a bite of the cookies and cream pocky, and he thinks, he tastes, he considers, and he likes it, Mikey. this is better. This is better. This, this is better. Is a okay, little, a little better. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, so Carlin's Matt Carlin's. You have never had pocky before, am I correct? Wait, he hasn't had pocky uh, either no, I, before. I never had pocky before, but now I have, and your box of pocky is gone. I was curious how many calories I ingested, but I can't read the nutritional information on this. So I'm going to assume this is health food and it was good for me the whole time. And that, uh, this will not interfere with my diet. So for those so wondering, nice. for those wondering, typically um, if you go into the international section in uh, Walmart, if they have like a food section, uh, Pocky is usually there. If you want to check at least the Pocky. And also um, um, down in the strip. Uh, Hot Topic. Hot also. Topic? Hot Topic has it now? Yeah, because we made it trendy, of course. Uh, so <laughs> if you want to check out, and it usually has the kind that he has, which is the chocolate pocky, is the kind that we've usually found. Wasn't there another one that they had here? Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry pocky. That's right. Yeah, those are the two common ones. I strawberry, could, yeah. Is it strawberry or strawberry taste? I think it's more <laughs> strawberry taste. So I'm, I'm interested to consider the the premium one to see how that is. But I wanted to share that with the Mayhem Nation. So if you're I ever do. in Thailand, look for the Pocky. Also, there were there were Pocky oh, gift were. sets. <laughs> one, 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 most of these I got from the 7-Eleven, which are everywhere. Um, also, I could not find any pro wrestling anything anywhere in Thailand, even in the the department store. There weren't even like WWF toys or anything like that. Uh, but but um, um, but you found a lot of lady boys. But I found uh, uh, yeah. gift sets. You could find a gift set of Pocky in the 7-Eleven along with this stuff. And you could also find gift sets of Pocky. I didn't pick them up because, but 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 um, I didn't have the chance to. But in Beijing Airport in China, they have Pocky uh, in, in, in 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 they gift have sets. Hi-Chu? They have what? Hai Chu. Hai Chu. Hai Chu. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> it's a Japanese candy, I think. It's, yeah, it's uh, like Airheads, but better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's like a Bonker. You remember Bonkers? No. Yeah. Bonkers were the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you guys remember? Yeah. Ladies remember. and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Mayhem Nation, what did you learn from pro wrestling in 2016? I learned Oh, that any man with two hands <laughs> has a fighting chance. Oh, oh, there went mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I just accidentally lit this up, by the way. <laughs> oh, look at it go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, is that is that your final answer, Riz? That's my final answer. Mm. Locking it in. Locking it in? Did you just punch year. yourself in the penis? <laughs> oh, there's a pizza box. <laughs> there's a pizza box here. Protected by the pizza box. Sorry, All right. I got one. Bobby of J-Town. You can meet your heroes, but you can't get them to sign an autograph that says, uh, sorry about your tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we're talking Everyone. about Rhino. Please. I thought you were going to say you can meet your heroes, but you can't hero your meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't. In a sub. Oh. I like how he's saying this in his John Cena hat. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he says in a John Cena hat is funnier. Because <laughs> you can't see him. Look at this context. Yeah, there you go. All right, who's got the next one? Anybody? Not everybody volunteer mm-hmm. once. Jump mm-hmm. in there, guys. You know what I learned? What'd you learn, Sword? What'd you learn, Sword? Just when I learned, I had enough trouble trying to watch all the wrestling in a week. We decided to start new shows 
and split the shows, so I want to watch both of your main WWE shows, and I need to watch 205 Live, and I still only about half season through uh, season two of Lucha Underground, even though I purchased both the first two seasons on, on the iTunes, and I'm yet to see the episode of Lucha Underground in which I appear with Alexander Cars. <laughs> but man, these are damn good problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My God. <clears throat> <laughs> I figured out mine. All right, Wheels, give me a second so we can get the video. But uh, yeah, go ahead. What is yours, sir? I will. You'll appreciate this, sir, considering it was from last Sabbath, two weeks ago. I learned, even though I may have moved up on stage, be safer and see wrestling shows a lot easier while doing music. I am not safe up there because the action still spills to the stage. I don't know if you guys caught this on Twitter, but uh, I had Missy on hard cam because we were really short-handed because of the double booking with IWC and RWA. And Missy's on the mm-hmm. stage on hard cam. I'm like, it's the safest place, right? And here is mm-hmm. Sanjay Dutt, Jason Gorey, G. Raver, and Daniel Ease doing moonsaults off the stage right in front of her. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. It was awesome. <laughs> was pretty awesome though like you should did you see the angle on it yet it's pretty cool yes <laughs> pretty cool by the way great job missy good job missy yay uh, that just means i book her for video camera more often <laughs> <laughs> because hey yeah i mean it doesn't get too much crazier than that i mean i might as well put you at ringside at this point yeah i might as well put you at ringside. <laughs> um um Who's next? <laughs> uh, Carlin's. I don't think you've gone yet, right? Nope. No, not yet. Um, I was thinking about, I would say the one thing I learned, the most important thing that I learned about wrestling in 2016 is that watching Monday Night Raw is completely unnecessary. I, I got a new shift at work, and it made it impossible for me to, to watch on Monday nights anymore. And I'm fine. I still, you know, watch a YouTube Clip on Tuesday mornings, get caught up, still watch the pay per views. It's fine, you know. It's it's great. So, um, yeah, I I don't need Monday Night Raw in my life anymore, and I wow. don't think I'm the only one who realized this. Maybe maybe you do okay uh, with like that's the, true, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you do okay with like the Hulu cut or something, perhaps. It sounds okay, but I, I tell you what, no. Uh, SmackDown is nice. SmackDown Live is a is a pleasant viewing experience. All right, a nice solid, tight two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good to go. Oh. But um, I, I I still can't live without Lucha Underground on a daily basis. <laughs> I really miss it. Of course, of course. Uh, is Jen Carlin's around to give hers? Uh, before she walked away, she said, "Make sure you tell them that wrestling breaks your heart." I don't know oh. what she means by that. The Shield reunited, and Dean Ambrose won the world title in 2016, but. Somehow she's still bitter. So maybe it's just James Ellsworth. Fan. It could be just James Ellsworth in general, right? <laughs> it's probably so. the same thing. I, I, yeah. I, you know what? I'm not even going to mention what happened on SmackDown tonight as I'm watching. Oh no, no, I'm going to check it out tomorrow on Hulu. So uh, it's one of the nice <laughs> things about doing this a little early. Uh, I, I would just say that I, I overheard a backstage interview just now with Ellsworth, and the question to Ellsworth was, "What hurts the most?" So <laughs> I just oh, leave wow. you with that for you. For your little stack dumpies. Pop a lunchbox. What did you learn from your extended experience of pro wrestling here in 2016? Uh, I've learned that I don't really miss wrestling. Wow. I don't. Wow. What? I don't I don't really miss it. I've I have tried to tune in a couple of times and I don't really miss it. But what I do miss is you guys. Aww. I miss we this miss and I miss you miss the discussion, the right? Yeah, I miss our gold improv. Oh, 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 exactly. <laughs> we have, we have, we have a guest. We have a guest. So come, on, come over here. Come over. So we're going around. We've done our predictions and everything. But uh, can you, can you tell me, uh, Lee? Very well, thank you. <clears throat> uh, introduce yourself. Who are you? Hello, my name is Wild Child Lee Ryan's IWC Wrestling. Hello, hello. There you go. He's here for Indie Mayhem Show. The SED Christmas Special is up next on the live feeds here. The dogs going crazy. No, no, no. Come back. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. Come back here. Come back here. I want to say so. So you may have a different perspective this from, from this or something. But what did you learn in 2016 from professional wrestling? That absolutely anything is possible. Absolutely anything. James Elworth, perfect example. <laughs> anything is possible. And we saw Goldberg do uh, 1996 circle. Did you meet Chris Jericho last week? Yes, I did meet Chris Jericho. I marked out real bad. Real bad. Yeah, who didn't, right? Absolutely. I didn't. I, 
talked to him, I felt like a little kid again. It was one of the, it was one of the coolest moments. It was one of the coolest moments ever. Absolutely. When I uh, when I met him, it was a childhood uh, dream come true. Absolutely. It was uh, surreal. I even told him I was like, "There's like 30 guys behind me that are going to be doing the same thing." It absolutely felt true. You were one of them too. I was. I was one of them. I went out. Zabrowski called me. It was like, "Look at you, Mark." And I'm like, "I don't give a crap. I'm just having my moment." Because again, Jericho <laughs> is like one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. Like uh, the all-time I favorite. I forget, I forget who it was, but a gentleman told me that. Tommy Jeremy told me if there's an idol out there, you know, you you take advantage of that opportunity. You only get once, you know. And if that is the only time I took advantage of it, I didn't want to cower. I wasn't gonna ask for a picture at first, but then ten minutes sunk in. I was like, you know what? You know, what if I never see him again? Yeah. You know, and it was an awesome, awesome moment. Awesome moment. Very happy to be there. It's not like he works the Indies, so. Uh, <laughs> it was an absolute pleasure. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That was great. Um, uh, well, my first show, my, my, my first show, live show I ever ever got to for WWE, WWF, I got a Jericho Holic shirt. Oh, really? Yeah. 1999. Stone Cold. Oh, I turned on your mic. There yeah. you go. It was awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. My mistake. No sir. camera, but you got a mic there. Yeah, my. Uh, Look at a prepared. Look at a fucking professional over there. I'm sorry, Look at that sir. Shit. I'm sorry. Sir. <laughs> but um, yeah, my first show I remember it was in '98. Uh, it was uh, Stone Cold versus uh, Mick Foley, Mankind in the main event. And wow. It was, awesome. it was a house show, so it was yeah. even televised. Yeah. I never forget it. It was a good time. Good That's time. what I was supposed to. It was a house show. Yeah. That was uh, it was right before um, Civic Arena. Yeah. Ended and uh, wow. Came up. Well. How long, when did they uh, demolish that building? I forget when. That was more like 2008 ish. Really? Yeah. That's a long time. Because, like, the like last pay per view was Armageddon in 2007. And then we saw the Raw. Whatever the Raw was that had. Um, oh, what's his name with the Viking helmet? The Berserker? No, 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 no. Um, Flava Flav oh, was there. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were going with that. It's like, like, wait, what do you think Viking helmet? You didn't tell me NWA. You, you think Flavor Flav is Flavor Flav? The guy Back with the doing clock the around his neck. Yeah. You know. Flavor Flav. <laughs> All right, guys. The Viking helmet. <laughs> thank you so you much, guys. Flavor is my favorite rapper. Say, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Like I said, if you're uh, catching us live or you want to check out the stream over to the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed or go over to Indie Mayhem Show, the STD Christmas Special 2. I just <laughs> watched today the Indie Wrestling Mayhem, Indie Mayhem Show Christmas special with the STDs from last year, and there's things that I don't remember occurring. Oh yeah, that's just, okay. Eamon hasn't been seen very often since. I'm sorry, Riz. I, I, I muted you earlier. But, no, I have okay. nothing to do with that. But yeah, you, nope. No, you were you were on you the were, other couch. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens. It's the sequel. It's going to be crazy. It may get us kicked off of Facebook. We'll find out. Um, so uh, thank you at Bobby F J Town on the Twitters. Yo, thanks for a wonderful year, everybody. We'll see you in 2017. Mainstream Matt on the Twitters. Until we all learn to find our inner James Ellsworth and follow our dreams. Oh, should people be checking out something coming up on the website, maybe? Uh, KDK.com should have uh, a little uh, WWE-related content on the website right now. There you go. Go <laughs> check about that out. The, uh, the, but mostly Sasha Banks and Bailey going to Children's Hospital to see the kids. Aww. It was a good and time. It was, it, it, was, it was a little girl. We, we have a picture. There's a little girl. There's many little girls, obviously. But there was one in particular. And we have a picture of her with Bailey. And it's exactly what you imagined it would be like if a little girl met Bailey one day. It's just <laughs> perfect. It was like her best friend. And I saw, I saw, yeah. I saw a, a kid one, uh, RKO Bailey. That was weird. But uh, yeah. okay, all right. Just okay. ran right up to her out of nowhere. Um. Also, what? What did Jen do to Bailey? What did Jen do to Bailey? No, Jen didn't RKO Bailey. No, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, Riz. Yes. What? What I do? I, wait, the, what, what do I do? Riz oh. plays games. Riz plays this is games. Where you plug things. Oh, I thought you were. I thought you were just going to plug for me, sorry. Uh, Riz plays games on the Twitch. <laughs> I also do the indie uh, indie wrestling us around the indie scene. Uh, <clears throat> stay tuned. We'll probably do like a little uh, best of uh, indie watch list uh, in the near future. So be on the lookout for that, as well as my weekly review around the indies, Sorg, where you can also buy all of your DVDs from RWA, right. IWC, and Prime. 
That's right. That's right. Um, little heads up little for IndieWrestling.us. Um, something's going to happen in the next several days. So if you're getting this on Wednesday or Thursday, you might want to get some digital downloads that you've been waiting on now. Now. Um, because you won't. Like soon. Right, right now. Like right now. Um, there's some stuff happening. And and you'll, you'll if you sign up for a newsletter, you'll get an email about exactly what's happening uh, very soon. Um, so in the meantime, bear with us. Uh, so IndieWrestling.us, at least the DVDs for the last two years of uh, RWA, IWC are there. Digital downloads for the next couple of days at least. And uh, we're going to be doing some interesting stuff in 2017. <laughs> because we have to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you. Ever- oh, oh, Lee. Where are you finding Wait, where are you at? I don't have a camera for you. I forgot. Where where are you? Since, you're, since you showed up on the show, oh, yeah. go unplug yourself. What? You. Plug. You. What are you talking about? <laughs> where can they find you? Where can you find you online? Oh, on the uh, internet. The cocky D on my Twitter. <laughs> 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 the best Twitter of everybody. Did I miss anybody? Yeah, Hot Wheels. Yes. Wheels. Hot Sorry. Wheels. Wait, 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 yeah, you too. You too. But Hot Wheels, Hot, Hot Wheels, RWA. And he's also um, um sound guy over at Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Yes, yes, I am. You can find me anywhere. My wheels are rolling. <laughs> oh. ah. I'm All right, right now, I'm not very active on my social media. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of activity today, DJ Lunchbox. Let's see you sooner than the Christmas episode next year, please. Yes, uh, and I do want to say you can go check out sawtoothwilly.com. Hmm. Can I? That's, that's Yo, the absolutely. One thing I'm still doing. You are still doing that. Can I? Can I? Yes. Can I recommend? Can I recommend? Pick one wrestling show. Just ease yourself back into it. It can be NXT. It can be the Cruiserweight show. It can be SmackDown. Like, seriously, pick a SmackDown or a Raw, whatever you like. Just pick okay. one. Just see if you can kind of roll back into it. You know what I mean? See if it's for you. And also, if you don't like one, try a different show. Mm-hmm. I, I, think you, what, I think what Sorg's trying to say is stick I the miss pick. you! <laughs> is, is, is just stick the pinky up there. We yeah. miss Wiggle you. Wiggle around a little bit. And then just see what happens. If you don't like wrestling, Beautiful you're wrestling. watching the wrong yeah. wrestling. <laughs> that is true, too. That is true. It's so, there's so many I mean, I wouldn't use that. That's fair. That, 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 seems, that seems appropriate. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, <laughs> all right, guys. Box, Thank you. I think I got everybody. Missy on the production. She's going to be the big producer, keeping me straight with things. For the 2017, we're going to do some fun stuff here. This will look different in 2017. I can promise you that. Literally, cords will be ripped out of here tomorrow. Or maybe tonight. Or maybe tonight, depending on how much I have of this uh, Crystal Skull vodka going on over here and how the Indie Mayhem Show. Maybe we'll just start it during the Indie Mayhem Show. You want to help me deconstruct the studio? Indiana uh, What? No. I no? Don't. I'll just deconstruct that. <laughs> You're going to help with that skull? All right. Thank you so much, guys. It has been awesome. It has been magical. Everything that uh, I have is because of the Mayhem Show, except for my beautiful wife. That was before the Mayhem Show. Uh, (laughs) But I mean career-wise, everything, meeting this big cocky D over here, uh, everything uh, like that. Thank you so much, everybody, and we'll see you in 2017. The biggest year yet in Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.